give. I mean, that's... Me window. That's a question. Sorry. 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 So we can close that gap. Um, so they can... We had a little incident with Cork City this week. Um, they're being a bit upset with our interview with Ian Turner. I think it was a real big overreaction, really, more than anything. From who, Tommy Dunn, is it, sir? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. They, they want the fans. They don't seem to be too happy with us at the minute, <laughs> but we're going to leave it off. And you were always a fan favourite. <laughs> I used to be a fan's favourite, that's one. But we'd like to say sorry to Ian. Ian, if you are in trouble, there's always a job here in Fec TV for you anytime you want. Is there anyone in the, in, the, in the Premier League or in the Championship, a player, that you don't like, that you think, oh, I'm fucking going to get you next week? <laughs> Are you looking forward to getting him? Think oh, I'm going to get him this time. I can't be answering them entire questions. There's obviously there's a few names out there that I always like to leave a little study every now and again. And, but um, I, I know that once I try and get them, I'll take my focus off the game. But yeah, a little stray elbow here every now and again wouldn't hurt. Basically, right, the app is called Steamy Window. Yeah, that looks like a fogged up window. Well, Shane, funny you say that because <laughs> it's meant to be a fogged up window, like you're in your car. Now, you might remember as a child, you always, you'd always be like playing with the window and writing your name in it and stuff. So if you want to touch the screen there, you see, it's like a condensation window. This and yeah, is brilliant. Of course, by default, you've drawn a penis. <laughs> No, no, I'm get it's like to a here. stats war in it here. Is, well, well, here are the stats. 1990, in New York, there was 2,245 murders. 2006, there was 596 murders. 2007, 494 Jay, murders. You now, if you're going to say, no, but if you're going to say that zero tolerance... you cannot prove and that zero policing, tolerance did that. Yeah, you can't prove that zero tolerance wasn't a big factor in it as well. I, I'm, I would actually be quite pro some form of tax for those people. And I'm not saying that all of the, all the people with you know, obesity problems out there, I'm not you know, jumping on the bandwagon and saying it's entirely their own fault. What I'm saying though, for things like smoking, for, for you know, alcohol related problems, where you've been had the warnings, you've gone through the steps and you can still persist, why not put a tax in for those people to actually pay for their healthcare? I show like the biggest loser or fat camp or the swan, but the biggest loser in particular because it's so popular. That's one of those shows that has this sort of veneer over it saying, look at how we're helping these people. No, you're exploiting them. It's absolute exploitation TV. I mean, you've got people in a very bad situation, many of whom are clinically depressed and very lonely, and then they're just paraded out there. Uh, not, not to help anybody. I mean, most of them, the statistics show, put the weight back on, but purely to be laughed at. I mean, this is horrible. And, you know, it says something pretty fucking horrible about our society that people are tuning in to watch this. Our laws on protecting migratory birds and and I think if anything interferes with their migratory path, then, then there are international laws, international treaties, depending on whether you're signatory. Um, you can't do things like that, and you could actually protest. But at the same time, when you take aims to protect the birds, like I know raptors are, are ones, um, eagles and things, and they'll help keep the rodent population down mm -hmm. in, in a place. So, so you, you want to encourage these types of, of animals. And, I contend that we are the first race in the world, and that the more of the world we inhabit, the better it is for the human race. Welcome to Two Cons and a Time Machine. Chris, what the fuck was all that about? That was a quote from Cecil Rhodes, colossus, imperialist, and mad bastard, who created Rhodesia by stealing land from the Africans with profits from De Beers diamond mining. The first thing it brings home really is that the styles here in Ireland have evolved so much. And it's not just that we're not, like, there was a period when we were kind of emulating music from different parts of the world and that kind of thing. But right now what we're doing is we're integrating it. Uh -huh. We've got, you know, some of these bands, they have Irish roots, so you can get the folksy roots and, and the style, from, but they're also bringing in influences from other places and it's really, really exciting, isn't it? Okay, if you go back to celebrities, the first kind of biggest mania was the Beatles and one of the members of the Beatles ended up being shot by a fan, mm. by someone who, 
you know, was delusional, but you know, so are most crazy celebrity fans. Gotta tell you, Emer, celebrities are people who go out there looking for attention. Therefore, I would have very little sympathy for them but getting I mean, that attention. Would you say that then the Beatles shouldn't have made music for all the attention that they got? They yeah, I do agree that there, there are celebrities yeah. who get there because of looking for attention, but there's also celebrities mm. who get there because they love what they do and they just.